Hey, have you ever done a problem before and it's the easiest problem in the world and you just can't get it right? Well, this is the third time I'm doing this video and maybe the third time is the charm because the first two times were, well, man, they weren't charming at all. So let me <laughs> see if I can do this. This is the limit as the change in x approaches zero. We're asked to find f prime at x where f of x is equal to the square root of x. We're asked to find the specific slope at that point. So I think the slope's going to come out to be about one half, but let's let's see. All right, I'm just going to do this problem again. So is x, I'm just setting up the limit process, right? Minus square root of x all over change of x. I'm going to look at this thing. I'm just going to look at this algebraically and realize I'm going to multiply this by the conjugate to get rid of all these square roots. So the conjugate of this minus this is that thing plus that thing. So x plus change of x plus square root of x all over. You have to multiply this by 1, so it has to be by itself. So x plus change in x under the radical plus square root of x again. All right? When we multiply this across, we're going to do, just do FOIL here across. And we do that. We know we have difference of squares so that the O and the I of FOIL cancel each other out. So what we end up with is just this. We end up with the limit as the change in x approaches 0 of x minus change in x plus x. Just do the FOIL and you'll see it. Oops, plus x. Sorry about that. All over. And I want to show you where this is all coming from. This times that. So here's this one. Well, it should have been green. Sorry. Right? Times x plus change in x plus square root of x. Right? So we have both those things under the radical. When we simplify this out, this x and this one cancel. So we get... No, oh, this should have been a plus. We get change in x over this yellow change in x. You see it there? Because they're going to cancel out, aren't they? Right? Times all this crap down here. And that is square root of x plus change in x plus square root x. Look, these things cancel and these things cancel. So I'm going to combine these like terms. I want you to look at this for a second. Remember, the whole time we've been wanting to let this change of x go to 0. So that's all we're going to do now is we're going to let our change of x go to 0. So this is what I'm trying to remind you of. We wanted this thing to go to 0. Before, if we let change of x go to 0 here, we have a factor of 0 here, and the whole bottom would go to 0. It would be, it would be undefined, wouldn't it? But now we can let that thing go to 0. So I'm going to let this thing go to 0 go to 0, and x plus 0 is just x, so we have square root of x plus the square root of x. So change of x over change of x is just 1, and square root of x plus the square root of x is 2 square roots of x, isn't it? Think about it. It's equal to our f prime at x. But we didn't want f prime at x, we wanted f prime at 1. This one is this one that we talked about at the beginning, is this one right here. So we we substitute in 1, and we get is equal to 1 half. My gosh, you guys, I can't believe I actually got through that. I, I feel terrible. Just absolutely ridiculous. Hey, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And could you share this video with somebody? I looked at my analytics yesterday, and I, I never get shares because I never ask for them. And why would anybody share something if you didn't ask them to? So I'm asking you. Thanks. I appreciate it.